Hey tires, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a four-eyed black Betty. This is a, a carp pattern, sort of a lesser known one by Jim Pankowitz. He ties a pattern called the Black Betty and I've modified this just for a lighter uh, profile and using bead chain eye instead of a black lead eye. So as you can see it's got an extra wide eye so it's got a strip of four bead chains rather than the usual two and that just kind of helps the fly sit properly. I find sometimes with just the two beads in the chain it doesn't really sit in the profile that you want it to. Now if you want to tie this with lead eyes just the two is fine and it sits great. So let's have a look at the materials and get started tying. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a carp hook. This is an extra heavy short shank. You can use uh, something similar like a Gamma, Gamma Katsu SL45 I believe is a good hook. So we'll just start by putting a base of thread. And let's go to about the barb and then back up. So I start my eyes just a touch behind the eye just to give a bit of space to wrap a little bit of dubbing there. So we're going to use some bead chain. This is a black painted 3.2 millimeter bead chain that I've got off of a supplier on Etsy I believe. So we'll just cut that. So I've cut a section of four beads and we're just going to tie those on the same way I'd tie on a section of two. It's just a little bit trickier I guess with the extra length on each side. But this helps balance the fly so that it stands hook side up. So we just kind of do cross wraps and under wraps just to kind of get that secured in place. You just want to make sure that the eyes are level from the front. If you want you can put a spot of glue there. Next I'm going to take the black legs. You can use like a round rubber but in this case I'm just using a uh, silicone skirt tab. I'm just going to take one of these strands. Now they're about five inches long or so. I don't need that much length so I'll just fold it in half and cut it. And I'll save half for the next fly. So I like these silicone skirts because they have a flat side and they tie in against the hook nicely. So I'm just going to come on the close side of the hook, tie that in. I'm going to fold that over, tie it down on the other side. And then I'm just going to come in with my scissors split that should be perfectly split for you. Next we're going to take a little section of UTC black and this is the brassy size. I'm just going to tie that in along the side of the hook here.
And then we're going to take a little bit of peacock curl. I'm going to take about five curls off this off this eye. And I'm going to tie these in by the tips, but I'm going to just cut the tips off a little bit just because they are they can be a little bit too fragile. I'm just going to wind that up into the back of the eye. So tie it in by the tips just so that um, as I wind this forward, hopefully the profile gets a little thicker towards the front. Just tie behind, tie in front, tie behind, tie in front. Trim that off. And then we're just going to come with our wire. We're just going to reverse that through just to give that fly a little bit extra durability. Helicopter that off. Next I'm going to take a hen hackle. This is from a natural black American hen. The Whiting American. But any soft hackle. If you don't have um, the American hen, you can just use a bit of schlappen or even just a black saddle hackle will work fine. So just strip the fluff off the bottom and just create a tie in point here. We're going to tie that in right behind the eyes. A couple wraps. Pull the tip back. Now we're just going to take our scissors and push that hackle fibers down. We're going to take a couple turns. Trap it behind and in front. Trim off that stem. So finish off this fly. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my diamond dubbing. I've got all my colors in my box here. And I'm gonna use my diamond dubbing 912. I think this is a black peacock. Don't need a ton. You just want to kind of fill in the gaps around in the back and around the eyes. So just dub on a really fine noodle. Just want to pull this hackle back. A couple wraps in the back underneath. Just want to kind of make sure you get everything covered up there. Then we'll add a whip finish. And we'll add a second just for a little bit added durability. And there you go, this is the four eyed black Betty. One final step you can take is just to rough it up a little bit with a dubbing brush. There you go. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.